welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Anna and I'm a little bit spooky. And today we are doing some really, really grungy glam. I just felt like getting glam and I felt like looking grungy at the same time because that's my vibe. Soft, grungy glam. That is me. We're not quite as soft today, but you know. I wanted to play with some brown tones. I wanted to play with the Vive palette again because I'm in love with this palette. I'm obsessed. And this is the look I created today. So yeah, um, paired it with a nice little neutral brownie lip. <laughs> I had my hair straight for once. I know, who am I? But anyways, if you want to hang out with me today, do some grungy glam, see how I got this look, just go ahead and keep on watching. But before you do, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Let me know some looks you would like to see and any kind of video ideas you're into. Let me know in the comments down below. And also, don't forget to go follow me on Instagram. I am posting a lot more over there. I am posting exclusive Instagram content, tutorials, IGTV things over there. You can keep up my day-to-days in the stories. I always show my makeup of the day with the details and outfits and what I'm eating and drinking, that kind of thing. Just day-to-day -day nonsense. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm trying to reach 5,000 followers over there. I've been stuck at like 3,000 something forever. So yeah, when we hit 5,000, there will be an epic giveaway. Epic giveaway. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get into this makeup look and uh, roll that beautiful bean footage. All right, who is ready for some grungy glam goodness? I just wanna do a super glam, grungy look <laughs> using the Vive palette. Just, Okay, I'm obsessed with the Vive palette. I think we know this by now. I'm like fully, fully obsessed, but anyways, I just want to do something super glam and super grungy because I feel like it in, oh, look at my nails. I'm, I'm loving my nails right now. I just did like a, it's basically just the acrylic and my girl did uh, like a milky pinky top coat over it with a gel, the gel polish, so it makes them look like they're real nails. And I kind of like that a lot right now. And I told her, I'm gonna need a paint on them. There's no point putting a color on. Do you have something that looks like a natural nail <laughs> that's not like a French tip? Because I'm not a fan of French tips. I just, I like real looking nails and I like to just do like a solid color when I'm feeling adventurous. So anyways, yeah. And we also went with a coffin shape rather than uh, almond because I was stabbing everything and I was tired of poking my dog with my nails. Also, I had the uh, shaken espresso today with the oat milk and brown sugar, and oh my god, is that good? It tastes like an oatmeal cookie and coffee, and it's delicious. <sighs> so I'm wound up. I am wound up. Okay, let's get started here. First thing I'm going to do is take show So Shy on a little, uh, I had that brush like five minutes ago. Where'd you go? On this little Sonic Kashuk brush. This is a large eyeshadow brush. This is one I like to use like to set down my lids and do the brow bone base shade. I've already primed my eyes, brows are on. So I'm taking a little bit of So Shy here and I'm just gonna run that right here, right underneath the brow as a brow bone highlight. I find highlighting the brow bone first really gives a nice natural look or a nice good flow to the eyeshadow. Cause sometimes I feel like my brow bone can look a little abrupt if I do it the other way around because I have a huge brow bone. I have rather deep set little shrimp eyes but anyways, for this look, I want to go like super dark and grungy. Just want to go ahead and get a nice lightness right there. Now I'm going to grab a fluffy brush. This is the Sonia Kashuk Rounded Crease. And I'm going to go into Chow first, which is that mustard yellow shade. And tap off the excess. And I'm just going to lightly run that through the transition area. Pretty high up, right under the brow up here. And kind of fade out. This isn't going to be like the star of the show shade. This is just a... Uh, Nice little transition. I'm gonna contour out the eye just a bit with it. It's such a cool shade. And you can build this shade up and get it super pigmented and beautiful. It's beautiful all over the lid. Like like the way I used uh, Cozy in that my everyday makeup look. <laughs> this one you can do that with too and it looks really cool for spring and summer. It's actually nice and warm tonight. Well, I guess it is middle of the night that I'm filming. It's like midnight actually. But yeah, it's uh, not cold. It's been getting pretty cold at night and chilly. Now I'm going to take a Sigma blending brush here. It's a larger one. I'm going to take a little bit of Lava Rock on this, tap it off, and I'm going to start to bring it through the crease right here. You're just getting the mood for like some super glam. That was me today. I was like, you know what? I want to do glam. I've actually been up a good while today and doing stuff. Already had a Target trip. You know how I feel about my Target trips. Hence where I got the Starbucks from. 
my friend just wanted to get out of the house, so we went over to Target, walked around a little bit. I found the cutest little planters in a vase that I picked up in the dollar spot. I got my little cousin some burp claws and blankets for the baby. Oh, I don't think I mentioned that. I have a new little cousin and I'm very excited about it. He is an Easter baby. He came right before midnight on Easter and he is a perfect little angel. And I love him with my whole heart already. So yeah, <laughs> I'm become that person that looks at baby stuff every time they go to the store now. And I'm not somebody who gets into baby stuff or kids that much, but I don't know what's happened to me in my old age. Well, what happened was my sister had kids and that kind of turned me to mush around kids about children. And I got where I'm like, babies. <laughs> I just don't personally want them for myself. I like other people's kids. And yeah, I'm so I'm very excited for my little cousin though. She had a little boy. I'm just going to repeat this on the other side. I'll be right back. Okay. And a quick note about my angle that I'm holding the brush. You can see that this is kind of a little bit more flat this way. And then the brush gets wider when you turn it. So I'm taking Lava Rock focused more on one side of that brush and having it faced up. And I'm going right into that socket line. Not necessarily my crease, but my socket line. And I'm just running it across like this, back and forth. And then I'm turning the brush sideways and letting it blend out. I'm kind of just building up that depth and then I'm gonna kind of flick it out a little bit on this outer corner. And just get everything nice and softly blended. Okay, and I'm gonna jump back to my big brush here. And just give that a nice little once over. I'm gonna jump over to the smaller, ooh, <laughs> dropped it. Um, I'm gonna jump over here to a Precision Firm Blender. I'm gonna take some more of Lava Rock on that and start to build it right here on this outer portion. Lava Rock is also a shade I enjoy just all over the lid and blend it out. It's just something very classic about it. It's a cool tone, but it's got like a purple in it. It's a very beautiful shade. I think Jamie did such a unique or an interesting um, nuance to her shades that she chose. Like they have really cool undertones that are unexpected. And I think she did a fantastic job with that. Her little eyeshadow pencils look amazing and the undertones of those look beautiful. So I'm just focusing that right out here. And then I'm gonna take a little bit on the same brush and come right here on this inner part. Kind of do a little bit of a halo situation. I really like the uh, Precision Firm Blender for like our corner right here because it packs product and blends at the same time. It's also very precise. I like the size of it. It's a really good little brush. I don't have a complaint about any of the Sigma brushes I have. Man, I can't wait to get those K. Jane Hughes ones. I've got the reminder set. I'm going to order them as soon as they hit the market again. As soon as they restock. I forgot where it sends me an email anyway when they come back in stock. Hopefully I can get them. I hate situations like that like that's like anxiety inducing to me <laughs> trying to find a product before it sells out blending brush one more time here from sigma just soften things a bit okay i'm gonna take this little flat brush here it's just a flat eyeshadow brush nothing special and a little bit of setting spray spritz my brush with that and we're gonna go into thea which is that dark dingy murky golden shade golden bronze and i pick a little bit of that up on my damp brush. I'm gonna put that on the center of the lid. The shade has almost an olivey look to it, perhaps a khakiness. And I'm just gonna pat that on the center of the lid in that blank spot. This is a very grungy shade. I kind of love it. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to my precision blender, a little bit more lava rock, and just make sure it's all married in, looking blended. What I think is cool is having that little bit of chow peeping out behind this more cool tone brown ties it into this more you know khaki gold shade on the lid or shimmer I think it's, it's really neat and it kind of it's an interesting contrast and I, I dig it I dig it all right sticking with that firm blender I'm gonna take a little bit of good night which is the matte black I'm just gonna pop that on this outer corner to deepen up and a little bit of depth right out here I'm just wiggling it right on that outer corner and letting it flow over. Maybe we'll take just a touch on this inner part as well. Just right there. I think that looks cool when there's just a bit of darkness on that inner part. And I'm going to go to the detail blender that's clean. Just get right in there and blend that. 
a little bit more lava rock around. Good night on the outer corner as well with a touch of lava rock. Keeping it nice and smoky. Very grungy. All right, and before I clean up the fallout, I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of a liner. I'm gonna take my KVD cake pencil liner and I'm just gonna stick it real close to the lash line on the upper lashes. I don't want super distinct liner. I just want a defined lash line. So I'm keeping it right tight in there. And what I like to do is take a little flat brush and really work it in. Don't uh, stab yourself. And I'll even pick up a little bit from the pencil onto the brush. You can do this with gel liner <laughs> too. All right, and then take a little bit of night on the same little brush and just pat it in there. Just like so, and I feel like I lost some shimmer. I'll go ahead and pick a little bit more up. A little flat brush. Go ahead and pat that back on. Just so you know how when you blend, you kind of sometimes will blend away your shimmer. Right, well, I'm going to repeat that on the other side. <laughs> Clean up the fallout, do my face makeup, and we'll be right back for the lower lash line and finishing touches. All right, and I have done the face for foundation. I use the Bare Minerals Original Liquid Foundation. I used the NYX Born to Glow Concealer, the Fenty Freestyle Cheeks Out Cream Bronzer in Amber for my contour, and then I bronzed using the Digital Dust Blush from Melt in the shade Queen B. And that catches you up to where we are now. So what I am gonna do is take my big old fluffy brush once again. I'm gonna take a little bit of chow, just a small amount, really tap it off. I'm gonna come right out here, and let that kind of flow out. And I'm gonna bring a little bit more into that upper transition region, just to get a nice cohesive flow going right out there. Snatched look. I also just want to bring a little bit more chow in just to tie into that lid shade a little more. I think it looks really nice. Everything looks good and blended. Okay, now I'm going to move on to some blush. And for blush, I'm going to take just this little bitty e.l.f. brush here. I want to take a little bit of the shade Cozy from this palette. And I'm going to dip into it. And I'm also going to dip a little bit into chow and kind of mix them and make a little blush shade. One little dab into Cozy. One little dab into chow. Top off the excess here and I'm gonna focus it right out here to be really cohesive with the eyes and just kind of repeat as needed okay cool it's not like super in your face blush but it's just something there I don't know I like it I think it looks really nice it's really kind of almost a bronzy looking tone Oh, and for powder, I use my number seven loose powder. And I'm going to take my foundation sponge here and just going to press all that in. All right, cool. Cool, looking very flawless, in my opinion. I'm going to take the detail blending brush, clean it off a little bit. And I'm going to take a little bit of chow on one side of this brush and run it just along this lower lash line. My eye's a little watery. Hopefully this works. I'm going to bring this shade kind of low and let it flow up into that eyeshadow. Make sure all that is nice and harmonious. Alright. Now I'm going to go to a little bit of a smaller brush. I'm just going to take this little flat shader brush from, well kind of a packer brush from Sony Kashuk. I'm going to take some lava rock on the tip of that and start to build some depth out here. And again tying it into that outer eyeshadow, outer corner. But all nice and smoky. Okay, and let's go back to that little precision blender one more time. A little bit of chow. I'm just really gonna run it along under here and blow that out some. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Hmm. And I think I'm gonna take a little bit of the black eyeshadow. Let's take it on this little tiny Sony Kashuk petite smudge. I'm gonna take a little bit of Good Night and just tuck it right up there. My eyes kind of damp right there, so it's not one to stick. Yay! You can kind of pat it, pat it, and hope for the best. That worked. Just for a little bit of definition, right? The lash line. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. All right, I'm gonna clean that off, and I'm gonna take a little bit of glimmer at that inner corner. And glimmer is just such a beautiful inner corner highlight shade. I'm gonna kind of bring it right there around the tear duct. God, it just adds such a nice brightness. And let's take a little bit of Thea on the same little brush and just hit right there. 
in the inner corner. They're coming from the inner corner a little bit on that little bit, the kind of first bit of the eye. Just password applied glimmer. Okay, so what I think we're gonna do next is, oh, we can do a little highlighter. Let's use the uh, Jaclyn Cosmetics in Sparks. Let's pop a little bit of that on the cheekbones. Forgot to do it before my blush and hit the brow bone with that as well and right up here. But after this, I'm going to go pop on some lashes and finish up my brows. My cheeks look really red because I'm warm in here right now. Lights are making my cheeks feel flushed. And I've just let my liner kind of just bleed into the inner corner and kind of elongate that a little. Yeah, I'm going to go do my lashes now and touch up my brows and then we're back to do the lips and be complete. See just a second. And we're back. Let's do those lips. I went ahead and just threw my earrings on. Got my lashes on. These are a thing called, uh, these are called Jubilee from Kiss. And I've just trimmed them down quite a bit because they were kind of huge. And they look really good. Like, I'm not big into like huge bold lashes. But these look really nice. Like, this is about as big as I want to go on the lashes. And I really like it. I think they look nice. So, yeah. Uh, what are we doing next? Lining the lips. For lip liner, I'm going to use the Milani Sheep Lip Liner. This is just a nice a deep brown. I think it will tie in nice with the eyes because I am going to go in with a kind of a brownie tone lip as well because I just feel like that goes with the grungy vibes. Springtime who? Summer what? Nah, we're just going full grunge here. I'm going to take ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in Fuego and we're going to pop that on and see how it looks. Yeah, this is the shade I wanted. And just let that marry into the lip liner. Very nice. I like it. Kind of ties into the eye well. So it's kind of a grungy look to it because this is a brown, but it has like a little bit of a gray in there. It's not like a true brown. I think it looks really good. It's a, it's an interesting nudie shade. And it's kind of weird. And I'm here for it. Let's take a little bit of this ColourPop gloss. This is in the shade Charming. I don't know if they make this one anymore. It's I've had it for some time. I still love it, so I'm not getting rid of it. It's just a really pretty iridescent gold shade. It's nothing that unique. Just gonna put a little bit here. This another lip. Gonna tap it out. So a little bit of a sheen. There we go. I like it. I like it. Very nice. I am definitely into that little lip gloss trick. It it it's a game changer where you just kind of line your upper lip in the center and then this is the center of your lower lip and just kind of tap it out. It keeps things from getting messy and it just looks really good and makes your lips look very full. Cool, so okay, that is the look complete today. I just want to really sit down and just do some, do some super duper crunchy glam. I don't know why, I just felt the need to do it. <laughs> Not going anywhere, it's two in the morning. Just, that's my life right now. And hell, I haven't done like some super glam in a little while, like where I just feel like ultra glam. Like I actually like, kind of carved up my jawline a little bit, just went full in with the product and had fun. But my skin, I think still looks like skin, still looks really nice. I have a hive right there, a little pimple. But otherwise, I think my skin looks kind of bronzy, warm. We, we, we got some stuff going on and I'm happy with it. Now I like how grungy and dark the eyes are and very sultry and just, yeah, something. And I like the way the lip came out. So yeah. Anyways, that is all for today. Thanks for hanging out with me and I will see you guys in the next one. Stay safe and stay spooky. Bye now.